What's going on, everybody? It is Saturday morning. What is today's date? I gotta have that somewhere. It is the 24th of April 2021. Welcome, everybody. Great to have you here. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, James Breen, what's going on? Good morning, JR. Thunder and lightning. Oh my gosh. 69 Fahrenheit with rain pending in Savannah. Okay, what do we got going on here today? Let me see here. I've already been out. I should know. Looks like it's going to be sunny in 67. I can deal with that. Hey, welcome everybody. If you're new here and you haven't been on one of my lives, don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell. Turn on all bell notifications so that you're notified every single time I go live. James, thanks for letting me know that you can hear me. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up too. Share this video. I'm so close. So close to that 5,000 number, man. I just need like a little over 100 subscribers to hit that 5,000. So I would really appreciate you doing that, guys. If you would, don't forget to subscribe and share it with other people. Um, if you don't know what we do here, I just teach you how to start, run, and grow online businesses. That's it. I've got a big surprise box here today. And I don't know if Paul's here or not, but Paul sent me this awesome box right here with goodies. And I'm going to open it in front of you guys today so you can see what's inside. Okay, I already opened it once and took a look. There's Paul here in Hot Springs. So, Paul, we're going to show what you got here. We're going to give you some free advertising. And uh, you can tell us where they can get some of this stuff because I know people are going to want to buy it. Um, this is his merchandise. And he sent me a couple other little things here, which is kind of a surprise, but I won't, I won't get into it. But I will get into the box. So if you guys want to know what's in that box, hang out here. Uh, let's see. Sure, I gave you a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Uh, Sunny Even, uh, Richard Brown says, where are you at, Richard? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's hard to remember where everybody's at. Um, got this beard going on, guys. I tell you, it's getting to me. I may have to shave it off. I have got some really awesome information to share with you today. Uh, and um, I think you're really going to like it. It's things that you can actually do and get real results from and, and literally change your life. Um, so I'm going to share those with you today. Uh, Richard Brown says, wow, wow. What's up, Richard? <laughs> uh, but these things I'm going to share with you today is not my list. It's another guy who made this list. Um, and this list is really phenomenal. It really kind of makes you think about what you're doing in life and what's going on in life and how you can improve your life. Uh, I think you're really, really going to like it. Um, but if you have any questions about starting, running, and growing an online business, I want you to put them in that chat box right there. Uh, anything you want to know, uh, I mean, I've, I've got my agenda for today, but uh, I can certainly deviate from that because this is all about you guys. This is really all about helping you guys start, run, and grow online businesses. Uh, we're going to see the results of some of Paul's stuff here because he's been working on it. And the, the other people out there, man, if you're working on businesses, you know, you want some suggestions, some ideas, whatever, opinions, help, whatever, put that in that chat box. Now, you may not be watching this live. If you're not watching it live, no big deal. Uh, you can put everything you want to put in the comment section. There will be a comment section down there. Uh, I also have a lot of links, more information to help you out. Um, and that will be in the description of this video. Once it's no longer live, it'll be there. Uh, doing a print on demand, and these are our samples, still reworking a little, and we'll open our Shopify store. Hey, Paul, do you have a name for your Shopify store yet, or, or an email, or anything that people could get in touch with you? Because I think once they see this, they may have some interest in what you've got to sell. I'm going to hold it up in just a second, guys, uh, and show you what Paul sent me. But I do want to get into the training, too. Let me get a little sip here real quick. Uh, let's see. I hope you guys are excited about today. You're all alive. You're all here. You got another day. Um, a lot of people don't have the advantages you do. I know I was out with my wife having lunch yesterday. We went to Texas Roadhouse and we looked out there and there was this person in a wheelchair um, and they, they could use their right arm a little bit to, you know, use an electric part of the wheelchair, but it looked like the rest of their body was done. And I really felt for this person because they were out in the middle of this parking lot. It was not the best of neighborhoods. And I got to thinking to myself, anybody could attack this person. Anybody could. They couldn't fight back. There's nothing they could do. Um, the assumption is probably they have some money on them. Uh, and, you know, that could be you. You know, that could be me. That could be anybody. Uh, when you see people like that, certainly you want to help them out. Uh, but more importantly, you want to be grateful for what you've got. Uh, and this today is a little bit about being grateful. Okay, I'll admit that. Uh, but it's really cool stuff that you can put in there. 
uh, American fighter fire gear is that the website Paul is that the actual website or is there a website yet I don't know if there is or not uh, let me just take a look here real quick and guys if you're running a business and you want to throw some of your information uh, on this live call you're welcome to do so let's see if he's got American fire and you used to be a firefighter I think Paul didn't you firefighter gear let me just see if I come up with anything on mine uh, there's a lot of people using that SEO uh, American fire gear I do see that mm. so I don't see American firefighter maybe you don't have that store up yet or you're getting that store up uh, but that's a really cool idea and I think you're gonna do really well uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to watching you grow that business uh, let's see here Richard Brown digital cash Academy uh, have someone helping to do the heavy lifting and your support desk uh, Rehim having access to the FB group uh, not responding um, huh uh, do me a favor Richard send me an email to support at jrfisher.com support at jrfisher.com let me know what you need uh, if you if you're not getting a response let me know what you need I will certainly help you out I apologize uh, we do get a lot of people but that's that's no excuse so if, if you're not getting help from something let me know uh, I'll certainly help you out um, let me see here well I'll check I'll check that afterwards I want to get into the training uh, but if you need any help um, I will certainly help you out uh, wait till I have my own product for JV support okay cool uh, currently building out site but Facebook is live so guys I guess you can go to um, uh, what is it American firefighter gear American fire firefighter gear let me see if I can find that real quick uh, American fire fighter gear and see if I can find a group for that I do find a group for that and it's got 334 likes and Paul I'll hold it up uh, is that the group right there Paul just let me know if that's a group uh, and if so um, you know everybody jump to that group go join that group get involved in that group only if you're interested though don't 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 subscribe to a group and never go there okay same thing with the YouTube channel don't do that because it doesn't do anybody any good uh, but check it out I know Paul and Paul's gonna do great with that American fire fighter gear I've already liked it so I've done my part right there uh, but you should go and like it too I highly suggest you doing so uh, Paul's a good guy looks like it's got some cool stuff here uh, so you want to check out that site definitely all right well let's get into our list today and I promised you there were four things that would change your life but possibly five okay so it is kind of four but it's possibly five um, and this was actually written uh, by a gentleman by the name of Don Miguel Ruiz Don Miguel Ruiz um, and it's really everything in life we do is based on an agreement uh, Richard Brown says well done Paul <laughs> wait till you see this stuff I'm gonna open the box in just a second uh, Richard um, so the agreements with the divine okay the people we interact with agreements with our lives um, but the most important agreements are the ones we make with ourselves okay and these are things that we do every single day we've made these agreements with ourselves um, it is through these agreements with ourselves that we determine we determine the story of who we are um, how we should behave what's possible and you know really what is what we can do in life um, so what I want to do is I want to go through the five agreements uh, there are five some people use four um, but it's good for you to include you know anything that you think would fit into this put that in the chat section right there uh, and so the first one the first one and I'm going to uh, put this in the chat section this is agreement number one agreement number one is the story of you colon be impeccable with your word there you go now on the surface that may not sound like much it means a ton guys and you can put in the chat section how you would interpret that uh, but be impeccable with your word so say only the things you honestly mean and I see couples do this a lot you know they'll be arguing and one of them will say well you know you never pick up your clothes or you never cook dinner or you you never do this or you always do this uh, and there's no such thing as always or never um, I doubt if that person has never ever in their entire lives pick up their clothes so we use these superlatives and I'm just giving this as an example because so often we say stuff we don't mean 
or you know they'll, they'll say well, I hate you and I don't like you or you know all these things that, that this is kind of pop out of your mouth and you don't really mean it be impeccable with your word don't say anything that you don't mean um, to really master being impeccable with your word you will be required to heighten your awareness not just um, the words you say but also the emotions you express it's so easy to say this person should do that or that's this person shouldn't do that and you just put all of your emotions on top of them this includes your attitude your actions and where you express the power of your beliefs um, you will need to develop a discipline of mindfulness this is not easy to do this first one's not easy uh, to be impeccable um, in these expressions on a daily basis now certainly we're gonna kid around every now and then and say stuff we don't mean trying to be funny that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about when you're really communicating with people on a daily basis you're being serious you want to be impeccable with your words you only want to say what you really really feel okay um, and you may want to um, give that some thought maybe your feelings shouldn't be expressed at that moment maybe you need to calm down maybe your anger needs to subside or something before you say that to somebody uh, especially if it's a loved one or a friend you want to use uh, avoid using words to speak against yourself avoid using words to gossip about others um, use the power of your words in the direction of truth and love always can you do that how, how would your life change if you did this just the first one right here which is be impeccable with your words uh, if you can see yourself as an artist okay so let's say you're an artist with your words and you can see that your life is your own creation which it is then why not create the most beautiful story for yourself why not do that okay why not create something that really means something guys uh, and I know we're always talking about making money online and all this stuff James uh, says integrity so very true uh, never email when you're angry man that's a that's a real truth Richard um, you know I I sometimes will have a customer or somebody say something rude or bad to me and my wife does the same thing we wait 24 hours we wait 24 hours before we respond to anybody because we want to think it through our mind is a very reactive organ okay it reacts to the second you know whatever's going on right now is going to react it doesn't really work through all of our thoughts it doesn't have time to so we've got to give it time to be impeccable with our words we've got to give it time to really think about this stuff all right the next one up here is I'm gonna also type this in every mind is a world colon don't take anything personal another hard one to do another very hard one to do we can get offended easily um, you know sometimes somebody may cut you off in traffic okay and that and, and personally you're like that jerk just cut me off that guy doesn't know who you are that woman doesn't know who you are they may not even have cut you off you know maybe they just are bad drivers okay um, possibly they just had something horrible happen in their life maybe they just had a loved one pass away maybe they just got some bad news about their life that maybe they just lost their job try to stop and don't take things personally you know online I'll have people say bad things to me every now and then not very often not I mean I'm very lucky in that respect however every now and they do uh, and when they do I try to say what's going on in their life what's causing them to do that why are they really doing that I'm not perfect at this either I got to work at this every single day um, but if you make it a habit of not taking anything personally nothing you will no longer need to place your trust in what others say or do and I think a lot of us stop and we are like oh my gosh if I don't do good at this my friends are gonna make fun of me my family is gonna think I'm a loser so I just won't try it and that way I can't lose uh, you do lose you lose every time you don't try um, and I think the reason we don't try is because we put so much credence in everybody else's opinion and you shouldn't do so it doesn't matter don't think or don't take things personally uh, Ruiz suggests that we are not responsible for the actions of others and what they think we're not responsible for that we are only responsible for our own actions and decisions that's the only thing we can really be responsible for if we can strengthen our ability to not take things personally hard thing to do we can no longer be hurt by words or actions of others because that's all they are is the words and actions of other people they have nothing to do with us whatsoever it's just an opinion that somebody else has uh, let's see here Paul says far too many people use words like I can't or it's meant for others but not me having a healthy self-esteem is so important 
Yeah, and you know, Paul, I think uh, a lot of times we're so affected by our childhood and what happened in junior high school or what happened in high school or what happened in elementary school or what other kids said to us and it sticks with us it sticks with us our entire lives uh, and we take all that stuff personal and if somebody says you know you're you're not good at sports uh, you're terrible at sports our whole life we think we're bad at it you know as a kid I didn't really play sports I didn't do much because I, I had this bad mindset where I can't I, I couldn't beat every single person out there I just wouldn't do it and that's an impossible thing to do so a lot of times I wouldn't participate now as an adult I do a lot more sports I do a lot more physical things and I realize I don't have to beat everybody I don't have to I don't have to do that I try to compete with myself you know right now I'm on this push-up kick and you know I'm doing all these exercises and last night I'll tell you a funny story about last night but um, you know my whole thing is how many I do I do three sets of 40 seconds uh, and I have a timer uh, and I can generally when I first started doing it a year ago I was around 100 push-ups uh, now I'm like 123 124 which I think is a decent gain you know what is that it's 25% gain something like that uh, to do you know I, I probably exaggerate it was probably below 100 at the beginning but now I can do you know 123 124 push-ups um, and I think I'm kind of maxing out because you can only do so many push-ups a second um, but I, I'm in this competition with myself um, last night I got on our, our, uh, our bike our mixed fitness bike and I set it for one hour I set my watch for one hour and about 20 minutes into it I was watching TV as I did this I dropped the TV control no problem I stopped the mixed bike I reached down I got the TV control went back to pedaling after about 12 minutes I realized I forgot to turn the mixed bike back on as far as the timer so now um, my watch would go to an hour but the bike wouldn't in in, in on a mixed bike you, you don't uh, maybe understand this if you don't have one if you don't complete that workout you get no credit for any of it and I was like ah so I had to do an hour and 12 minutes on the bike right to get a complete workout because I'm in competition with myself you know nothing other people do is because of you it's not right it's because of themselves that's why they're doing this all people live in their own dream that's what all of us are doing right now it's in their own mind that they're living in they are in a completely different world from the one we live in okay completely different they see things different they look at things different when we take something personal we make the assumption that they know what is in our world they don't okay and we try to impose our world onto their world which you can't because they're never going to understand your world you're never going to understand their world so don't take anything personally guys if you imagine how you would feel how comfortable you would feel how awesome you would feel if the things that other people said and and and, and imposed upon you didn't bother you anymore how would you feel would you feel like kind of relieved would you feel kind of good about that I know I do that now I do that a whole lot more now I'm not a hundred percent okay I'm not a hundred percent but I, I try to understand that you've got a different world and you're, you've got different things that are affecting what you say and what you see and what you do and I do take that into account now and I think gee I wonder what happened to that person to cause them to be mean to me uh, I wonder what happened to that person you know to make them be rude to me I wonder how their day was at the restaurant that they gave me really terrible service maybe they had four really horrible customers before me do you do that or you, do you just assume that your world is their world too what if you could change that and here's the cool thing you can you can change that uh, let's see here let me look here uh, I'm gonna read some we got we got some good stuff in here Paul and Richard everybody far too many use words like I can okay I read that one this is great and many thanks Richard says sure Richard um, this is not for you uh, you're not good enough mm, yes we think that a lot don't we we do think that a lot uh, it's so much easier to not care what other people think after the age of 40 and you know Paul there's a lot of truth to that um, you know and I'm, I'm over 40 obviously but um, you kind of understand life a little bit better you kind of chill out a little bit better um, it's much easier to not okay I did that one see the logic of Mike Mincer refitness uh, might just blow your mind okay guys check check out Mike Mincer that's why I get all these good suggestions is from you guys I really appreciate that uh, getting over the mind blocks of the past is an ongoing thing especially around ideas of making money yeah because we think we have a certain value 
we see our parents with a certain value we see our friends with a certain value and we kind of fall into that value and that's not us that doesn't have to be us okay we can change all that um agree paul and now i'm post 60 and don't give two hoots <laughs> i'm the same way richard i just don't anymore but you know what it kind of releases a lot of pressure when you're so not worried about what everybody thinks i mean it releases a lot of pressure um uh let's see socialization is a lot to answer for sounds like a good blog post uh -huh. yes definitely definitely so that was number two okay we, we got through two we only got four it's not going to take us long so relax jump in um number three is here we go truth or fiction colon don't make assumptions okay so this one here um don't make assumptions is us imposing our world on somebody else okay we're assuming things this agreement speaks of having the courage to ask questions and to express what it is that we really want okay if we can learn to communicate with others as clearly as possible we will inevitably avoid misunderstandings hurt and drama um, with just this one agreement Res says we can completely transform our lives assume nothing don't make assumptions assume nothing um, like some people I've talked to who are really wise have said when you assume you make an ass out of you and me you can't assume anything guys if others tell us something we make assumptions okay and if they don't tell us something we make assumptions to fulfill our need to know and to replace the need to communicate even if we hear something we don't understand we make assumptions about what it means and then believe the assumptions we understand we made these assumptions we make all sorts of assumptions because we don't have the courage to ask questions um, so when you're communicating with people and you don't understand and you think you know what they're talking about it I would suggest you Sam well what I hear from you is that you're upset because I didn't get that paperwork done on time is that correct and ask him that question you know what I hear from you is you're upset because I haven't taken the trash out in a week honey um, is that what I'm hearing from you and she may say no no I'm just aggravated over all the clothes everywhere the trash was just something that set me off so don't make these assumptions if you don't make these assumptions and you actually ask people questions you can actually work through stuff and get so many things solved guys it can make your life so much easier if you just do these things um, and put put your comments in the suggestions or in the chat section what do you think um, truth of truth or fiction okay truth or fiction it doesn't matter we make assumptions we make these assumptions we need to stop doing that to get another sip gosh number three we're already to number four and then I'm gonna open this box if you haven't been here Paul sent me this box right here it's got some goodies in it I want to show it to you guys so you know hang in here I want to open this box in just a second and show it to you guys and yeah Paul I'm covering your address with my finger so don't worry about that nobody's gonna see your address um, my number four number four and I want to put this in here practice makes the master colon always do your best this is huge guys uh, Richard Brown says open questions for the who what why when yes open questions and you know we've got a we've got a mature audience in case you haven't noticed it on this these trainings I'm doing with a uh, bunch of older guys who really have learned a lot about life and you know what guys uh, it's our job to teach other people I got a phone call from my daughter yesterday who is 30 she's going, oh my god she's 30 Ooh, that makes me sound old um, and she's gonna be 31 this year and uh, she was having a problem uh, in life and she says dad I want to ask you because you know just about everything and I, I felt so <laughs> I, I was I was so um, complimented that she would say that and yet I also knew that I didn't know very much at all but it was so cool that she thought I knew so much that she wanted to ask advice um, and I gave her the advice and she said she felt so much better after hearing it uh, and it was so cool to be able to do that uh, and not know that I would even have a decent answer for her. Uh, but I gave her my answer I gave her just my opinion but understand my opinion was based on all these years I've lived 
um, if she had asked me that question when I was 30 I probably would have given her the wrong answer um, and I don't know if the answer I gave her was right or wrong um, but I know that it made her feel better and that's that's what really counted to me is making her feel better uh, because she's a really wonderful woman she's a great mom and she just needed her to hear something from her dad and that made me feel really good um, so number four I said practice makes the master always do your best now this is an agreement this agreement relates to realizing that your best is going to change from moment to moment now I know this right um, uh, logically I know this but I tell you when I'm doing the push-ups and I don't do as many as I did the day before and I do less and I can't get any further I'm like oh my god it's horrible but the fact is your best is going to change your best will be different when we're tired as opposed to when we're well rested um, yet despite any circumstance that we may encounter if we strive to do our best okay so I try to do as many push-ups as I can we can let go of our self-judgment which leads to self abuse and regret you beat yourself up more than anybody ever will and let me say that one more time you will beat yourself up more than anybody ever will okay uh, and I think it's funny when we become adults uh, whenever that is 18 21 I don't know 25 well, you, you pick the number um, we think we're supposed to know all the answers and we don't the all all you can do is your best now there's two sides to this do your best thing the first side is oh my god I got to try so hard the other side is hey I know I'm doing my best so I can not beat up myself anymore I did my best that's the best I could do and it kind of relieves a lot of the pressure you have too so depending on how you take this if you just do your best at things you're gonna feel really good about yourself because you did your best not what you achieved not what you gain not how much money you have in the bank or any of these things um, and I know I've improved in that area as far as money in the bank than when I was a younger person but I got to tell you I do my best more now you know when I was a younger person I didn't always do my best I didn't think anything really mattered so much I would only do the important things and then there's the question what are the important things what are the important things you're supposed to work on hmm right I think they're all important you say well I mean keeping my desk you know cluttered that's not that important if it's cluttered or not yeah it is everything's important 100 percent, everything's important does that mean you need to do everything perfectly absolutely not absolutely not what it means is always do your best just do your best the best you can it doesn't have to be better than somebody else it doesn't have to be better than what you did yesterday it's just your best right now in any circumstance in your life no matter what it is your family your friends you know cleanliness of uh, health whatever it is just do your best and nobody knows better than you if you're doing your best nobody knows that better uh, if it doesn't matter if you're sick or tired just do your best if you always do your best there is no way you can judge yourself because you can go back and go hey I did my best and it takes a lot of pressure off you if you don't judge yourself there is no way you're going to suffer from guilt you're not going to suffer from blame um, you're not going to suffer from self-punishment by always doing your best you will break a big spell that you've been under for years and a lot of us go through our whole lives beating ourselves up and we say we should have done this we could have done this and blah 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 and here's the other thing I want to add to this one here you can't change the past you can't you may have done some things that weren't admirable in your past I know I have you know I think most people have it was a learning process for me in life you know to ch to 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 change from doing these bad things to doing good things and as soon as I realized I couldn't change the past it takes a big weight off you. you're like it's behind me now now I've seen a lot of people try to change the past right they say oh my god I want to change the past they aren't able to do it I haven't seen a one person be able to change the past not one so what makes you think you can you can't is the answer uh, let's see here uh, how true I'm so black and blue from my beatings yeah we all are Richard but you know what buddy it's okay it's okay it's okay to go ahead and stop now and go hey I've done my best I screwed up some stuff in the past so what so what I'm here now that's what really matters um, James Breen says serenity is s zero t I can't even pronounce that James you've got to have a simpler word for me s c o t i wait a second he's got a word here he's just thrown me and here my ignorance is uh, rearing its ugly head here a c c 
E O T I Y. I don't doubt that he has a really cool word here. Uh, no, serenity. Maybe you mean acceptance. I can't find that word, James. I, that word does not exist when I Google it. Maybe, I, maybe I, maybe, maybe my vocabulary is okay. Uh, Paul says, was told that we're like an hourglass with limited sand or time, and we are. <laughs> never waste that time on things not moving forward yes true i will add one thing though take time to rest take time to rest it's okay don't feel guilty about rest don't feel guilty about that your body your mind you need that okay so you don't have to work all the time you don't have to be achieving all the time now i like to achieve things i enjoy that but you know what Every now and then I take time for rest. Yesterday we went out to Texas Roadhouse, had a nice lunch. I didn't work. I just enjoyed spending time with my wife. Take time for rest, okay? Always do your best, but take time for rest. Let's see here. Um, you need to try the DDP yoga, 10 second push ups. 10 seconds up and 10 seconds down. Check it out on YouTube. Okay, I'll do that. Do you do that, Paul? Is that something you're doing? Have you tried it? Let me know. Let me know about it. Uh, and how long do you do that i'm curious that's something my wife may enjoy too she's actually doing push-ups with me uh james Green says serenity is accepting every person thing or situation exactly as it is at the present moment and count your blessings every day man that's well put james it really is buddy people want to hear from you start that channel start that channel you got all this stuff you got all this knowledge you got to start that channel 70 percent of something done imperfect is better than a hundred percent of trying to be perfect and accomplish nothing very true james brain my clumsy fingers hit the sin button thank god i didn't know that word not that i know all words because i certainly don't but i was like man this this is out of my realm I don't know this one um my rest is days fishing and that's awesome that's an awesome thing it's it's so cool that you have that for yourself and you should really enjoy it when you're doing that you should say you know what this is for me this is what i like this is what i love okay number five number five is kind of the red herring here uh, i'm going to throw this out uh it's not for everybody uh paul says i think it starts by forgiving your past and realize every day is a fresh canvas to start it 100 percent is paul it 100 percent is and now keep in mind just because you want to forget your past and things that happens it doesn't mean your friends and family and enemies are going to want to forget it right They're, they may want to still bring that stuff up that doesn't mean they have to pull you into it it doesn't mean that now number five and then i'm going to open the box this is the box that paul sent guys i want to open this box and show you what he sent me uh and i have an address uh in our about section there or on our web page if you ever want to send me stuff you can certainly go there and do that uh, somebody was asking me for our address um this is getting very deep into zen I, it won't give it so deep because i'm not that deep richard so it won't give it so deep all right number five let me put it in here the power of doubt colon be skeptical comma but learn to listen okay this is a big one guys um i think this is really big right now uh because of our political climate it's like we've got you know the left and the right and you can't be anywhere in between well, I'm here to tell you, you can be. You can be anywhere on that spectrum you want, or you can choose not to even participate in the spectrum. Um, but you don't have to be a certain way because you affiliate with a certain group. It's not necessary. And I think it's actually hurtful uh, because people who I have disagreed with wholeheartedly, once I heard their side, I was like, wow, now I get where you're coming from. But if I hadn't have been willing to listen to what they had to say, I would have never learned those lessons it's really important to listen to your friends and your enemies listen to your enemies okay uh, really important I'm not saying try to go convince them of anything because it's almost impossible to do uh, but listen to them see where they're coming from don't believe yourself or anybody else be skeptical right every time I hear something and it, it it's uh, it, it could be politically <laughs> oriented I always like well why are they doing this why are they saying this use the power of doubt to question everything you hear you should question everything is it really the truth listen to the intent behind the actual words why are they saying these things and you'll understand the real message now 
um, when you listen you know exactly what other people want once you know what they want what will you do with that information is up to you okay so whatever you do with that information is up to you at that point you can react or not react that's your choice uh, you can agree or disagree if you want that's your choice um, with what they say and it depends on what you want is how you're gonna to react to it too if you think about that uh, nothing has been truer than that in our climate today and you know I, I, I say in our climate today but since the beginning of man I'm sure there has been a climate of mistrust and argument and two different sides it, it just always has right but we can choose to you know accept it or go against it or try to change it whatever we want to do now all of these arguments will help you reconnect with your authentic and awakened self I'm not trying to get too touchy-feely here um, but with the fifth agreement um, this Ruiz guy who wrote all this guides us to have complete acceptance of ourselves just as who we are in addition he also teaches us the complete acceptance of everybody in our lives just accept them for who they are just as they are he suggests that the reward of living with these agreements is eternal happiness perhaps try them out see what happens um, let me know what you thought of these things I'm getting ready to open Paul's box here by the way but let me know what you thought of these things um, I think it starts by forgive me I read that one this is uh, getting very I read that one <laughs> the power of doubt be skeptical but be willing to listen guys and that's what I put in there be willing to listen don't shut somebody out because you disagree with them now you may listen to them and still disagree and there's nothing wrong with that but at least listen to them listen okay you can never take in any new information you can never grow you never never become better or anything and, and it may actually when you listen to them it may enforce what you already believe you may go well I know that person's an idiot now before they spoke I just thought they were an idiot now that they spoke I know they're an idiot so it may enforce what you're already thinking but the point is listen listen that way you'll know uh, tried it and was only able to do a set of eight uh, eight so you I guess you go up for 10 seconds hold it down for 10 seconds hold it up for 10 seconds is that what it is Paul uh, I think you'll enjoy the success stories from DDP yoga mainly core building and it was similar to my rehab after injury on the job had to learn to walk Wow so that was pretty bad uh, would you prefer to be right or serene oh man James you, you got to talk man we got to hear you talk more buddy you get some cool stuff uh, it's the entrepreneur's manual yes okay so you guys ready for this box you want to see what Paul sent me okay now I got to change my screen here because I want to see the camera angle and I can't see it the way I got it set right now because I got some notes in front of me all right so here's the big box Paul sent it to me got my address right here in San Diego where is it the writing right, right here in San Diego he sent me this nice box he spent a whopping $21.90 to send me this very kind of you Paul very very kind of you uh, so I'm gonna open up the box uh, we're gonna see what we got here I got this nice letter here from Paul let's see uh, let's see here it says hey JR just wanted to show you some of the progress we are making man I love it I love seeing people make progress guys and any of you can send me some of your progress it can be a note it can be an email whatever uh, while it seems to be taking forever we are at least moving forward I love that thought I love that okay I want to thank you and Jessica for all your help along the way and if you don't know Jessica guys that's my wife she has a great channel uh, Jessica L Fisher uh, the furry family coach on YouTube she has Facebook groups she has a DIY channel it's called the uh, home sweet farmhouse you can check that out too I uh, hope you enjoy the shirts and books I really think the Vince Flynn book hits home today uh, wishing you guys good luck on the move and having moved a few times in the past few years I realize what a pain in the ass it can be. your goods uh, you're the goods brother Paul Shabab there it is guys there's a nice note he sent me right there I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna pull out the first article here I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this box over here just because I don't have room to show his merch I want to go show his merch here so what do we got check this out guys you know you want this you know you want this check out that shirt it says fire department he's made this really cool design the design is on the front side uh, but look at that man you know you want that and I think that was what was that uh, uh, gosh American firefighters 
gear american firefighters gear uh you can actually you know hold it up there a little closer you can actually go to facebook and see his facebook group page nice shirt there guys you can get that from paul all right and he's got he's got more there's more hang on hang on don't go anywhere he's got this style and yeah, this one here is really cool too you see this guys this is american firefighter gear look at this he made up all this stuff guys he created this this doesn't this did not exist until paul came along okay check that out really nice shirt it's printed on the front okay it's got a nice emblem on there it's got some flames on there really cool stuff american firefighters gear go to his facebook page check it out and then the last one he's got here um and this oh this is front and back guys this is front and back so the front says american firefighter gear on the front and then on the back it's got this it says uh what does it say I'm trying, I'm trying to hold this shirt and look at the reflection you can't train hard enough to do a job that can kill you wow check that out guys check that out pretty cool stuff so he was nice enough to send me those and that's not all he sent me it's a generous guy he sent me a couple books right the first one is called vince flynn total power right here he sent me that book very nice of him very nice book he sent me gotta check that out and what else he sent me another one and it's uh michelle malkin who built that an awe-inspiring stories of american tankpreneurs tankpreneurs i think i'm saying that right okay and then there she is on the back right there pretty cool stuff all this came from paul paul my man paul so let me read some of these comments um superb richard brown says uh paul says thanks gang for all the feedback hey guys put some comments in there for paul look at his cool merchandise let him know how cool this stuff is uh paul says looking forward to jessica's next video on dog foods yeah she's got well she's got a live on sunday paul that you really should attend and if that may be the one that you're talking about i'm not sure um and i don't have that up right now so i don't want to look it up but check out her live on sundays they're always good they always have a nice crowd always answering cool questions uh, richard g brown great group thank you so much richard and paul's group he probably means paul's group too right <laughs> probably does uh, make sure you go and like paul's page um american firefighter gear american fire firefighter gear american firefighter gear i'm going to get it right okay guys uh, i went a little bit over today i hope you don't mind we were just having a good good time uh paul says he's using pod and no inventory so we don't have to buy inventory guys the stuff that i'm teaching on this channel this stuff works you can go do this yourself okay you you don't have to spend any money for inventory these things he has he can put them up on sale online and not buy any inventory and then when somebody buys it then he pays for it but he's already collected the money so he's not out anything anybody can do this stuff anybody right but here's the thing paul did something paul came up with a design paul actually did something uh knowing you can do it and actually doing it well those are two different things those are two different things hey it's been a great session today i think so if you think so you know put a comment in that um, chat section if you're watching this afterwards put it in the comment section don't forget to subscribe i keep looking at my bell here i don't forget don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray if it's red that means it's a warning you need to hit the subscribe button okay and then click the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every time i go live or what i upload a video and i just finished editing 12 of them today now i gotta write scripts for next week and start all over again that's just the that's what you got to do as an entrepreneur man it never stops it just never does uh, i love having you guys here man it's really been awesome uh, if you like this session uh, put a comment in that chat section there let me know how you feel about it if you have an idea for more training and somebody was saying stuff about youtube i'm going to be doing some more youtube training because somebody gave that suggestion the other day on uh, training on youtube uh, youtube is a funny animal it took me a while to figure out some of this stuff but i'm slowly figuring it out i really would like to hit that 5,000 this weekend guys if you would share this video um, get your friends and family to subscribe to my channel if they have interest in this if they don't don't have them do it uh, only people who will actually come back and watch the videos uh, let me get another sip before i get out of here you guys have been awesome tomorrow i rest uh, i rest at least on youtube i'm probably going to still do some work um 
but tomorrow I will not be live, but Monday I will be. Uh, if you have ideas for subjects, I pick all my subjects normally on Sunday and then I schedule them throughout the week. So if you have some ideas for subjects that you'd like to see me cover next week, feel free to put it in there. Uh, I'm live uh, on Monday through Friday, Saturday, Monday through Saturday, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time uh, and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That will probably change when I hit Texas. So just giving you guys a warning, it's going to be a two-hour difference. So I'll probably be doing it two hours earlier, I would imagine. Um, I think it's two hours. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. So I'll be doing that. Uh, James Breen. Hi, JR. How about making a decision to grow your beard for six months? Oh, my God, James. You have no idea how fast my beard grows. Uh, in time, the itching will go away, and you won't be aware of your whiskers. I've had a beard for 44 years. Wow. 44 years man you're tough i don't know if i'm that tough it just it just gets you know what bugs me a lot james is when i eat and food gets in it and i feel like i gotta wash my whole face after i eat that's or maybe i'm maybe i'm stabbing the whole <laughs> i'm not i'm not getting it quite right i'm getting the fork in my the chin and stuff i don't know uh, but if i'm eating like ribs or something like that it gets all in it drives me crazy uh prefer small group lol uh thank you richard i appreciate that um and yeah there's something to be said for a smaller group of people as opposed to a whole bunch of random people in there uh but we've got a pretty tight-knit group here okay we're we're kind of guys that are alike uh and i'm just kind of sharing with you the same stuff i'm doing you know we're just guys that are alike uh peace and blessing always everyone uh when you write script do you use a template uh yeah kind of yeah kind of not necessarily a template I like to say certain things in the beginning of my video I like to say certain things in the end of my video I like to tell people up front what the video is about and what they're going to learn when they come out to the end of the video that way they can make a decision if they want to watch it or not uh, and I pretty much do that with my lives too I tell you what I'm going to talk about uh, that day uh, in advance that way you know do you want to waste your time or not do you want to spend your time and get something out of it your time is super valuable super valuable and let me explain something to you about your time nobody's time is more important than yours nobody's I don't care if they're a president I don't care if they run some corporation that is their time in their life and your time in your life is equally as important so don't ever think that somebody else's time is more important uh, and I will tell you I'm, I'm really and before I get off of this I'm, I'm kind of on a tangent now when I select a new doctor you know and I have to do that soon I'm going to Texas I will interview two or three doctors okay I don't know how many of you guys do this and I'll sit down with them I'll say hey look I know you're an important person okay what you do is really important you take care of people's health and I have this talk I really do and I say but I want to explain to you my time is really super important too uh, and I just want to know up front when I come in for a 10 a.m. appointment do I have to sit around for a half hour or 45 minutes or will you be ready at 10 a.m. if you're not it's one of two things you don't care about my time okay you've over scheduled your schedule or you had an emergency now every now and then you can have an emergency but if I come in here and it's like every time I come in it's a half hour 45 minute wait I won't remain your patient and it's better that you tell me up front if, if you always run behind in that way I can move on to a different doctor is that fair enough and I actually have that conversation okay uh, and then I, I follow up on that if I go to that doctor and they get me in on time like they say they're gonna do it when I sit in there I say hey I appreciate you respecting my time and getting me in on time uh, now what this does to them it sets up this thing about oh mr. Fisher's here he is really serious about his time I really got to get to see him so <laughs> it gives me a little bit of an edge in dealing with doctors and you know what I mean it if I go to a doctor and I've got to wait 30 or 45 minutes each time I drop that doctor and I move on because he's over scheduled himself okay or he doesn't know how to handle his own time and that doctor is no more important than me and certainly you know their time is no more important and if you're if you're calculating value I make more than most doctors do um, by far um, so yeah if you're just if you're just saying money wise my time's just as important if not more um, so your time is important guys no matter how much money you make no matter what you do your time is important remember that don't dwell on the past anymore look at these five things that I've given you today okay and put them into practice I put them all into the the chat section uh, 44 years nine months Wow long time uh thanks everyone paul says same thing here thanks everybody you guys have a great day i appreciate you being here uh, i will see